Lemonade is betting on the blockchain. The insurance company's philanthropy arm is offering more affordable weather insurance to farmers in Africa, driven by forecast modeling powered by a DAO, reducing underwriter risk and the need for claim staff. Here with more is Daniel Schreiber, Lemonade CEO. Daniel, always good to get some time with you here. Why did you decide to do this? Well, the Lemonade Foundation was founded in order to try and leverage technology to bring about exponential impact in the social world, kind of trying to real, really help solve real world problems. And blockchain to date has been hugely impactful in the financial sector, but really it's hard to point to areas in which it's been able to change things, not in the cryptic world, not in the immaterial world, but actually in the material world. On the other hand, you've got some 2 billion people on the planet who are reliant on what they grow in order to get through the year. And they are overwhelmingly, not merely uninsured, but uninsurable. They have smallholder farms that simply don't make sense to traditional models to insure. Bringing those two together, all of the distributed power of the blockchain um, changes the economics in fundamental ways. Suddenly you can get away without brokers and without underwriters and without claims professionals and create an at cost model that works for everybody using the blockchain to do all the things that are traditionally done by an insurance company. So a DAO instead of an insurance company, an Oracle instead of a claims handling system, um, it really is transformative. Um, it's Julie here. I, I have to say, as I was reading about this, Daniel, the thought that occurred to me was, rather than trying to manage for what are sure to be an increasing number of natural disasters and climate change affecting these farmers, wouldn't it be better to A, try to mitigate climate change in the first place, and B, help these folks find something um, perhaps train for other professions, et cetera, if basically this is going to be wiped out rather than just insuring against disaster. But I guess that's not <laughs> Lemonade's place to, to step in to that kind of, uh, you know, to try to do that kind of thing. Well, this does bring together three passions of ours and areas that we do have domain expertise, which is insurance, technology, and social impact. So we're playing in an area that we think we can contribute and perhaps contribute uniquely. Um, some of the other areas that there are needs in, we just don't have an advantaged um, technology or capabilities to bring to play. But I will point out that farmers by and large at, on aggregate are just fine. Um, on average, they're just fine. The problem is the volatility. The beauty of insurance in general and pooling using blockchain in particular is that you use the law of large numbers in order to distribute risk so that nobody carries too much of it. And that is actually transformative. That really does change the lives of people if we can really bring that about, because on aggregate, they're doing okay in terms of how much they grow, so long as we can protect those who are exposed to weather, to climate, to changes that are devastating to them, but being subsidized by others who are doing well. And a nonprofit at cost insurance that is distributed digitally and at zero cost has the promise of really changing lives in the field. And we're talking about, as I say, hundreds of millions of families. Daniel, we haven't talked to you in a bit. Uh, looking at the business this year, uh, how fast will, will premiums go? And, and what are you seeing in the environment out there? So we ended 2021. Um, I should point out, by the way, this was the Lemonade Foundation, which is quite distinct from Lemonade. It's funded and founded by Lemonade, but they're not the same. So I'm switching hats to answer your question. Um, we ended 2021, Lemonade ended 2021 with about 78% year-on-year growth. We are projecting about 70% growth year-on-year -year this year in 2022. And we've also let it be known that we think this is our year of peak losses. So we are seeing a lot of very good things in our business. We recently launched our car insurance. In fact, today we're launching car in Tennessee. So we're seeing our products grow over the last 20 months. We went from just doing homeowners to homeowners plus life, plus pet, now plus car. We're buying Metro Mile. There's a lot of very positive momentum at the business level at Lemonade. This has been an interesting uh, week for the insurance industry. Daniel, Warren Buffett spending uh, billions of dollars to buy up Allegheny. Uh, what'd you make of that move? Is that an important move or signal on the industry? Not one that impacts on Lemonade at all. So honestly, not one that I've delved into or would want to comment on. In general, Warren Buffett has been, of course, massive player in insurance. He owns Geico, among many other players. And one of the challenges that he spoke about at their annual general meeting just a few months ago was how businesses like Geico missed the bus on a lot of the technologies. In fact, that's the term that they use there. 
because they haven't been using telematics, they've been slow adopters, and they've got the innovator's dilemma that's really hurting them in terms of adopting new technologies. That is the advantage that we're trying to drive home, no pun intended. So really building a new kind of technology, fundamental strata upon which to build an insurance company. And that I think gives advantages that are already evident and will manifest ever more powerfully in the coming years. Um, Daniel, finally, I just quickly wanted to ask about the stock, uh, which is down obviously pretty sharply over the past year. If you guys are, are ha, have moved beyond peak losses or you've seen peak losses, how do you get investors that message and to come back into the shares? Yeah, honestly, not a primary focus of ours. Um, as I told investors in our founders letter, when we IPO, we're gonna focus on building the company rather than on managing the stock. These are times in which stocks have been punished across the board, all growth stocks, as you well know, all insurance stocks and short tech stocks. So we're not taking this personally. 80% of the movements that we've seen have been during periods that we've announced nothing at all. So I think it's really important for us to stay focused on building what we're building. The market will overcome ultimately a lot of the fears and concerns that are visible today. And as we all know, this thing will turn around. So we're being are very focused on the business, on the long term, the stock will do what it will do and it will catch up eventually. All right, we'll leave it there. Daniel Schreiber, Lemonade CEO, always good to get some time with you. We'll talk to you soon.